Good afternoon, Internet. Craig Chamberlain here with CraigTheTechTeacher.com. I'm going to be going through the next video in the Windows 8.1 series. And we're going to be going through this book right here, Windows 8.1, The Missing Manual by O'Reilly. Make sure you guys pick this book up as well. It's definitely worth the money, and it's a great guide to have along this video series I'm putting together. And this video series aims to be a comprehensive guide on Windows 8.1 from the ground up whether you're a beginner or an expert, you're gonna come along with me and we're gonna learn everything there is to know about the Windows 8.1 operating system. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Speaking of the good, my patrons are the ones who power this show. If you're not yet a patron, make sure you consider becoming one because there's a lot of really awesome goals set for the future of this show, but it cannot be done without your support. For as little as one cup of coffee a month, you can help crowdfund this show into becoming something quite exceptional. So we're pretty excited about that. And speaking of patrons, top patrons for this month are Jacob Williams with WildAcademy.com. Check him out for some Ruby tutorials and some awesome interesting content. And also Brooke Chamberlain at AshleyBeigePhotography.com. Check that out as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Yes, we're going to actually get into Windows 8.1 again here. Actually, look at the Windows operating system again. And today we're talking about keyboard shortcuts. See this little Windows key I have on my on my my keyboard? That is what we're going to talk about today. Windows keyboard shortcuts. Lots of awesome shortcuts that you have to know about because they will save you a load of headaches, especially with the user interface being what it is on Windows 8. It can be extremely frustrating and extremely friendly depending on uh, how much you adjust to change. Uh, but these shortcuts will definitely help you along the way. So let's go ahead and get started. Here I am on my home screen. Of course, when you boot up, you log in yourself, and I have the wonderful Metro UI with the tiles, uh, and the book calls it Tile World. And here we have the, uh, Windows doesn't call it Tile World, by the way. So here we have the Start menu here, and if I press, let's start with the basic keyboard shortcut. If we press the Window button, like I have it up here, it'll go to my desktop. If I press it again, it'll go back to the tile world, as they call it. And if I press it again, it'll go back to the desktop. That's the first keyboard sh shortcut, and it's great if you're trying to work with in between the two. Now, the Start button also goes back. So if I open up something in Tile World and I press the button, it'll actually go back in Tile World as well. So let's go ahead and move on to the next one, though. Let's say you want to open up something in your navigation here on your desktop. These buttons down here, and this is actually a keyboard shortcut that was included in Windows 7, and it's also included in Windows 8 now, is if you hold down the Windows key and you press 1 on your number, you can't do the number pad, by the way. You just press the number 1, it'll open up the leftmost task on your taskbar icon. If you press the number 2, it'll open up the one right next to it and so forth and so on. So this would be Windows key one, right here, the Internet Explorer. And if I move these around, if I switch these around, then this one, the File Explorer, becomes Windows key one. So you can have from one to 10 across the bottom, you can pin your programs and you can actually automatically open them with this Windows key and the number key uh, corresponding with that particular, uh, that particular program. So that's a pretty easy one to get uh, get in get in your head and kind of easy one to get in, your, in the habit of doing because now I can just anytime I want to open something I can just press open key one or open key two or open key windows key three and it'll actually let me issue that command. Now here's an interesting one too and, and I found this fascinating uh, because I didn't realize it was in here until I did this tutorial is that if you hold the windows key and you press D it'll actually bring you straight to your desktop and hide all of your open windows. And if you press oh, a window key D again, it'll actually bring all of them right back up. Now that's great if you're really just trying to look for your desktop real quick. I'm probably gonna start using this on my Windows 7 operating system as well. But it's a great way just to kind of hurry up and hide something and you can do what you normally do on your desktop and then you can open them back up just as quickly. And that, that one's Windows key D. If I do Windows key E, it'll open up a new Explorer window. And I can do that indefinite amount of time, so I can open up as many as I'd like. So yeah, I just open up a bunch of them, and that's Windows key E. And I like Explorer because it has all your favorites in your SkyDrive. And, and to be honest with you, I have to use this one quite a bit because I'm always, always, for some reason, having to sift through multiple drives, multiple external drives, and it can just be frustrating. 
Now you may have noticed my lock screen popped up here. That's because I pressed Windows key L and that actually causes your lock screen to pop up at any given time as well. Very similar to the open key D. I keep calling it open key, the Windows key D, which causes your all of your windows to disappear like that. Uh, the L will actually could put, uh, put you in lockout mode so that you can lock out or log out of your machine at any given time just by a couple of keystrokes. So that's always one of the advantages there as well. Um, and let's go through some of them that are actually specific to Windows 8 now. Now Windows 8, as you know, has Tile World. Yay! Now these tiles can be open in the background and that's why it's good to be able to switch between them. Now, historically, we were always using something called Alt-Tab. That's where you hold the Alt key and you press the Tab button over and over and over again. You can switch between programs that are open on your machine. Well, Windows has another one that's actually for switching between your apps on uh, on ta Tile World, however you want to call it. But then you press the Windows key tab, so hold down the Windows key, and you can tab through the other settings that are on the other windows that are currently open on your machine. So I can tab right back to my desktop. I can tab back to my browser, which I had open. And I can tab all through any applications that might be open in the background. Now the same feature can be used if I bring my mouse in the top left hand corner and I just click, you'll notice it'll actually rotate through those windows as well. So that's kind of one of the features that's built into this new Windows 8 uh, desktop is that your ability to be able to quickly navigate through those. And so Window Tab will let you be able to let you scroll through them very, very quickly and very easily. Uh, probably one of one of the better features. Now there's another one that's out, uh, another uh, keyboard shortcut that allows you to look at the settings of your start menu in Tile World. So if you bring up your Tile, tile World menu and you hold open the Windows button and you press Z, it'll actually pull up this customization screen and it lets you choose customize and you can go in and actually move around your tiles as well. We'll talk more about that in the first chapter of this of the entire video series when we get to it as well. There's one more that I wanted to show you. Uh, and, and the reason I stopped to kind of give it a little bit of time here is because it's the most important keyboard shortcut for this operating system. And that is your search. You are able to, from a simple keystroke, perform many different types of searches. And the reason I really, really like the quick search functions is because it saves an enormous amount of time. It's the main reason I like Windows 7 so much. If you hold the window key and you press Q, it'll bring up this awesome search box that you're looking at right now. And you'll notice that it says search everywhere. Now, as you start to type something in, such as I, N, it's smart enough nine times out of 10 to know exactly what it is you're looking for, and it'll show you as the first result. Now, if you're looking for something more specific and not everywhere, because I did a search for everywhere, let me hold the Windows key and press Q again to get it out of the way. Let me hold the Windows key and press F. Notice that it switched the everywhere into files. So now I can search for specific files. And this is a picture that I have in my system that I used as my profile picture. And notice as I started to do a search, it instantly started popping up with search results for that as well. And so that's also one of my favorites. So then lastly, they have the option for you to do window, hold the Windows key and press W, and that'll let you search through settings. Now this is great too if you're looking for just like the control panel, for example, or uh, not the control panel, I'm sorry, but if you're looking for something specific you want to update, like change resolution, you can just type in what you're trying to do, and in nine times out of 10, it'll know what you're looking for, and you can just click on that option and it'll bring it right up, and you can go in there and change it to your heart's content. So that's all there is to this video. That is your Windows shortcut key. It is invaluable. Make these your, uh, your next lesson uh, or your next uh, training program here. So spend some real time getting used to sifting through these, tabbing through applications, pressing the Windows key, being able to do search, type in the name of a program you're looking for. I mean, there's almost nothing you can't do very easily from the keyboard if you have these keyboard shortcuts memorized. Invaluable, absolutely invaluable to this entire process of learning. As always, thank you guys for coming out. I know this one was kind of thick with information, uh, but uh, in the next video, we're gonna be talking about some more interesting things as well. Uh, we may actually be getting into a full start menu explanation and going straight into, into bigger detail on how to actually customize your navigation. 
in the Windows 8 operating system. So thank you guys for coming out. As always, if you have not become a patron, check out the link in the patron, patron link below for more information. And I'll see you guys in the next video.